Good morning, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm gonna do a get ready with me and my favorites for the month of May. Um, I've had some troubles in the past. I'm actually gonna talk and do my makeup at the same time, and I'll show you what I'm using. I'm using the Rosehip Plus Rosehip Oil Australian Certified Organic Cold Press. You can get this at Marshalls, TJ Maxx, or online on Amazon. I can link it below. So I've had some troubles in the past or the last like three days with my computer completely got corrupted so with that means that all the filming that I've done because I already deleted the raw footage from my camera because I like to keep my camera completely cleaned out it runs a lot better it films a lot better everything when it's cleaned out um, I lost a bunch of my footage <laughs> so it's a little frustrating because I put time and energy into it and one of my videos I had almost completely finished filming or not filming editing and it was a little frustrating so anyways <laughs> I just wanted to let you guys know that so that's why I'm doing a get ready with me because I'm gonna be filming today and I figured I might as well do my May favorites while I'm filming because it makes sense to me so for moisturizer I'm gonna use the Lala retro whipped cream by drunk elephant it's just like this little sample that I have um, like I said, I will link everything down below that I end up using in case I forget to mention something. I filmed a couple videos, like I said. I filmed my Tarte um, beauty kit that I had gotten and I already put everything away so I'm not going to refilm that one. I did film my sample project pan update and my May empties. I do still have those, so I am going to refilm that one today and hopefully put it up today. Today is Sunday, so you're going to you guys are going to be seeing this on Monday, so you're going to be seeing that hopefully before you guys see this one. So, <laughs> if it is up, I will link it above here and down in the description box below. But anyways, <laughs> I'm a little bit frustrated still about this whole thing that's going on. So my May favorites, I'm going to go through them because I'm going to use them today with my makeup and what I'm doing. So I'm going to just get started and get going. I haven't used this yet. This was in my Tarte video that I filmed. Um, it is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer Concealer in the shade Fair. I figured I would get, a, get the lightest shade that I could because then if I don't like it, then I can give it to a friend. A lot of my friends are quite a bit lighter than me, so I figured I would try it out either way and just see if I like it, see if it's something that I can potentially use because you guys know that I don't use concealer. So I figured I would try it today and camera and see how it looks on camera. And also my under eyes have been looking quite greenish bluish lately because um, that's just how they get. <laughs> What can I say? Um, and also I've been breaking out quite a bit lately. I'm not exactly sure why. I did have a in dosage increase in my medication for um, anxiety and stuff. So oh, I have stuff going on in my life right now is basically what I'm trying to say. So I'm just going to blend this in. Yeah, it's crazy how bad my skin has been looking because my skin usually looks pretty darn good. Like, mostly I don't wear um, foundation every single day. I don't wear concealer ever. And um, yeah, so it's a little bit frustrating right now having my skin look as bad as it does. But that's okay. I've been stressed out quite a bit lately as well, so there's that. I'm actually quite pleased at how this blended out. I think it blended out very, very nicely. I think because it's like a water-based concealer, it's really, really thin, so it doesn't really pick up in my creases and my under eyes. I have really bad creasing in my under eyes, so yeah. Let me actually zoom you guys in a little bit so you can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm going to put on my foundation like I normally do, and the foundation that I am using today is one of my favorites. I have been using 
quite a few samples of these and I've been really really enjoying them. It is the Too Faced Born This Way um, foundation. It is a medium to full coverage foundation. I think it's more of a medium coverage. I don't build it up to a full coverage. I just have the little sample packs that I've been using and you guys saw in my sample project pan uh, intro video that I have like eight samples of them and I actually found some more. So there's that, but I have been putting them in this little container here. You can get these at Walmart. I will try to link them if I can find them. They're just like a jewelry container and that's how I've been using them. So I do think that this shade on me is a little bit light and a little bit orangey, yellowy in color. So I am just going to foundation myself up and I can tell my husband is about to come in here and interrupt us. So sorry if that happens. So I really like this foundation because it really sinks into my skin very nicely. It gives me like a my skin but better type of look in my opinion. I get a lot of compliments on how flawless my skin looks when I wear this foundation. Not just on camera but in real life I get a lot of compliments on it. So I really really do like this foundation and it doesn't look cakey on my skin at all which I really appreciate. So my husband's actually going to see the new Deadpool movie with his brother, so obviously it's not something that I want to see. Not obviously, but not really my style. So Kitty Cat is in here as well, just so you guys know, as per usual. He got let in. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I really like this foundation. I don't know if this is the right shade for me, although... Like when I first put it on, this looks really yellowy orange to me, especially not on camera, like especially in real life. But when I blend it out, it actually looks like a good color. This is the shade Vanilla, if I didn't mention that earlier. And I really, really do like this foundation. I think the nude shade that I used, the last sample that I used, was a really good color, but it was more of a darker color than this Vanilla shade. But I don't know. I think this is a really good color for me. I I don't know, and it does look super, super flawless and seamless on my skin, especially when I set it down with my um, powder that I use. I will show you guys that in a minute. It's not a favorite for the month, but it is the powder I'm gonna use today. So I'm gonna finish blending this really quickly here. So I think that's blended in really, really nicely. Like I said, I just love this foundation. It is so seamless, so flawless. I can build it up if I want to, but typically I end up leaving it right here where it is and it feels really, really good on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy. Um, I can't tell though, because like I said, I have been wearing this a lot lately and I can't tell if it's breaking me out or not. And I hate that I can't tell that, but I'm just not sure, but I have been using, I've been trying out a different foundation, the Fenty Beauty Foundation, to, sh to tell you guys, and I'm not sure if it's that one or if it's this one that's been breaking me out, or if it's something completely unrelated, which it could be, because I've been eating a lot of chocolate lately. I've been loving me some chocolate. So anyways, I'm gonna show you guys my next favorite, and it is the iced coffee that I have in my cup today. And it's pretty much the only iced coffee I've been drinking for forever. And this is what it is. It's the Starbucks Skinny Vanilla Latte. It is made with non-fat milk, which you guys know I don't drink milk. But in this case, because it is pre-made, they don't have any that are pre-made with almond milk, unfortunately, because I would purchase that. But it's such a small amount of non-fat milk that's in there. It doesn't upset my digestive system. Um, but it is the best alternative that I have because I can buy this entire container. And this is 1.18 liters or 40 fluid ounces for this whole container for like four to five bucks depending on if I get it on sale and if you go to Starbucks and get like a 16 ounce drink which would be like a medium then you're gonna pay five sixty almost six dollars for the exact same drink and that really really bugs me that I pay that much for one coffee drink which by the way when I do go to Starbucks I bring my own cup like this um, so that I don't have to use a plastic cup Oh my god, it's so good though. Like, I usually put a lot of ice in it to water it down a little bit because it is quite coffee tasting, which I don't mind. I love the taste of coffee, but it is very, very coffee tasting. So 
I try to water it down just a little bit. I'm gonna tell you guys my next favorite right now. My next favorite is this new e.l.f. brush that I got. I can't remember if I put this in my last favorites, but I freaking love this brush. It is so soft. I just cleaned my brushes last night, so it's a little bit wet still, but it is so nice on the skin. Like, it just does a flawless job. Can't remember what this brush is called, but it's like the big, huge powder face brush. Here it is here. And it's got the, it's like the newer line, but it doesn't have a name on there. It's the 101 the 101 brush. So I will link this down below. And then also I'm using the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Pressed Powder in the shade 115 Classic Beige. I love this one to set my makeup down, especially setting my foundation. It just, it's so perfect. It doesn't give me any extra coverage, which is perfectly fine, but it sets my makeup down so flawlessly. Like, I can't even tell you guys how happy I've been with this powder. This has been the only powder I've been using to set down my liquid foundation. When I use powder foundation, obviously I don't use anything to set it down. But when I use my liquid foundation, this is the only powder that I use because I love it. And this is the only brush I've been wanting to use, except for when this brush got really, really dirty, I used my other one. But I've been loving this brush. It's so gentle on the skin and it's so big that I just feel like it covers my face so well. So I'm just loving this combination for setting my face down and I feel like it looks flawless when I'm done, which is how I want my makeup to look every single time. Okay, so I'm super happy with how that looks. And I am going to show you guys my next favorite, and it is the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. I can't remember if I have used these in my videos and told you how much I love them, or I've put them in favorites before, but I have been loving this banana powder. Normally, like I said, I don't use concealer, so I will just use this, and this works great, but since I did use concealer today, I do want to brighten up this area under my eye just a little bit extra. Um, I don't know, I'm just in a habit of doing it, so I just <laughs> want to do it. And this brush is also a little bit wet still, which is a little bit unfortunate. So I'm gonna just tap off the excess. But it is so brightening without looking yellow. I know it looks quite whitish, yellowish in the pan here, um, but I've been really, really loving it. And it's in the shade 10 Baba Banana. I mean, their names are super cute and it's super, super affordable. So I will link this down below as well. But I've been really loving that banana powder for brightening my under eye and just kind of just bringing my whole look together. So I am gonna actually set my face now with the liquid foundation and the powder with my Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. I know they have the Dewy Setting Spray now, so I am just gonna use this because that's what I have. So the mist on this, this isn't one of my favorites, but the mist on this is so fine. It's so nice. But one thing that does bug people about this, it does have little teeny tiny micro glitters in there, which do make your face look glittery, to be honest. So what I end up doing is spraying it like that, and then I'll take my brush with no extra powder on it, just whatever was left over, and I'll just tap it in. And then I'll put my other stuff on top. So that's how I like to do it. The next favorite that I have, and you guys can probably guess it, maybe? I don't know. I don't really talk about my everyday makeup usage on a regular basis, but this has been my favorite palette to use since I finished up my other four palettes, which you guys are gonna be getting a four palette review very, very soon on, I will show you, cause I have to film it. Thank God I didn't film it already cause I probably would have been mad. But I'm gonna be doing a four palette review on the Tartlet and Bloom palette, the original Lorac Pro palette, the ColourPop Give It To Me Straight palette, and the Morphe and Kathleen Lights Collaboration palette. So yeah, I really loved using these four palettes the last month, and I'm gonna be filming a four palette review on them. But this is in my next four palette review, and it is the Kat Von D 10 year anniversary palette. It is so gorgeous. I have done quite a few looks with this palette already. I've done a red look with this shade and this shade. I've done green looks with these two shades and this gray shade down here. I've done a blue look with these shades. Um, 
what other oh I've used this one before as well so I think I'm just gonna do a super super neutral look because I am gonna be filming quite a few different um, videos today and I don't really want to go too crazy on my makeup because it's raining outside we're not going anywhere it's just gonna be kind of a lackadaisical kind of lazy day today so I just want to show you guys this palette and show you how it performs on the eyes. I don't even think I'm going to do one of the shimmers today. I think I'm just going to do like a matte neutral look. So I'm trying to decide if I'm going to start with this tan or this gray. I wish you guys could tell me. Um, I think I'm going to start with this gray today. I've been really liking cool tone looks. So I'm going to go in with that gray. And which brush? I'm going to go in with this crease brush it's the bmx 430 brush from moda pro and i love this one i got this one in a boxy charm so i'm just gonna kind of go in there and there's not a lot of kick up with this palette which i really really like and it just there's so much pigmentation with it so you have to be careful hey <laughs> Oh my god. And one thing I will say is this mirror is freaking fantastic on this palette. Like, I love this mirror. It is such a good mirror. Seriously. I think Kat Von D did it right by not doing like a crazy inlay on this mirror. You know what I'm talking about? How like Too Faced and um, what other company does it a lot? I can't remember, but I know Too Faced does it a lot where they put like the design on the inside so it's not like a full mirror. That bugs me so much because I don't care. As cute as it looks and it does look cute, it makes the mirror so much less functional and I hate that because then when I'm traveling, I can't really use it. So I typically end up taking my Tartlet and Bloom palette to travel because I know all the colors work flawlessly and you know, the mirror in it is fantastic. It's a full-size mirror like this one, and I really appreciate that. So, yeah. But I do really, really like this palette so far. I have not used every single color in here. I'm almost at the point of using every single color, which is really awesome. But I'm not quite there yet. So, there's that. You know what? I kind of want to do like a blue look today because this is so cool toned. I don't know. Maybe I should do a palette roulette with this palette. What do you guys think? Would that be fun? I will leave a poll up above here if you guys want a palette roulette with this Kat Von D palette because I think that would be a fun palette to do it with. And I think that would really, really like make me work and figure out different looks to put like different combinations of colors together i think that would be a lot of fun i know i have this zit right here and it's driving me crazy i don't really know where i want to take this look it's like the only cool tone i have in here besides this blue i'm gonna use just that gray color from that palette okay i'm gonna go into my Too faced sweet peach palette this is not one of my favorites for the month but i am going to use this shade here talk derby to me it's like a dark dark shade and i'm gonna use that all over the lid because that's what i feel like doing i feel like doing a dark look for some reason a dark cool tone look so that is what I'm going to go in with. And this is what I was talking about, the inlay of the mirror. Like, I can't use that mirror. Like, I mean, I, I guess I can. I'm going to. But, like, typically I would not use this mirror ever for anything. So, it is kind of annoying to even be there because it's like a waste to me. Not the mirror. The mirror would be fantastic to have. But the fact that the inlay is there, I mean, it's cute. It really is. But I already know that this is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, so I don't need to know that when I open it as well. You know what I mean? So I'm just kind of doing a rough lay down of this color here, and I will speed through this part here. Okay, so I think I'm going to stop there. I know it's like a really, really rough eye look right now. Don't worry, I will fix it. But I think I want to go on with the face and just kind of figure out what kind of bronzer and well I know what bronzer I'm going to use but what kind of blush and stuff I want to use just to kind of see where I want the eye look to go but I am liking this dark cool tone look so far it looks great I think I mean 
who am I to say? I'm gonna go in my with my next favorite of the month, and I do know that I, this was in one of my favorites videos before. I got this in a boxy charm, and I freaking love it. It is the IBY Beauty Highlight and Contour Palette. I've been using these three shades down here, the three contour shades just mixed together for my contour every single day. To be completely honest, I don't really use these three highlight shades, but the one I use the most is the center one, and it's like more of the banana shade as you know, probably for my under eye. This favorite of mine has been a favorite for a long time now because it just gives me the right color. Like, I can build it up. I can make it a different tone because there's like a red tone color, an orange tone color, and a very, very cool toned brown here. So it depends on what I'm in the mood for. But, oh, that is a... Do you guys see that contour? It's just like... I will fix it, don't worry. Um, but basically, I really, really like these tones together, and I tend to end up going into this very cool tone brown a lot more than anything else, and that way it kind of blends better, you know what I mean, as a contour, and then I put my bronzer on top, which helps blend it out a lot better because this brush is very, very dense brush. It's my Tarte brush. It doesn't have a name, unfortunately, and I wasn't able to find it the last time I used it, but it is my favorite contour brush that I have, and I just love it. It's my favorite. So I'd really like to know if you guys like favorites like this where I get ready and I just kind of talk to you. Instead of presenting the favorites just like in front of you like this is my favorite, blah blah blah. Do you guys like when I use it on my face and actually show you how they perform? I'll leave a poll up above again. So if you haven't answered the poll from earlier, you can always click on the little eye icon and it will show you... Um, all of the polls or all of the videos that I link above so that if you missed one when it originally came up you can always go back to it and look it up again but I'd really appreciate if you guys answered those polls for me to see you know what you guys really like because I'm getting I'm getting a little bit bored of my filming schedule and my videos that I film and stuff and I just want to be re-inspired so if this kind of thing helps where I am putting it on as I am presenting it to you that you know that you can actually see how the products perform and stuff especially if you don't have the products already um, let me know because I'd like to give you guys what you want as well as making myself happy in the progress and the process if that makes sense so the next favorite that I have is my new bronzer that I got from Sephora and it was in my last haul. I will link that up above and down below once again and I'm going to use my e.l.f. I don't really know. It's like a powder brush. It's from the black collection and it's just like a really big fluffy powder brush but this one is the um, bronzer from Hourglass. Sorry, the light is kind of blowing it out and it's kind of dirty on the front. There you go. And this is the Ambient Lighting Bronzer in the shade Radiant Bronze Light. And it does have a very nice mirror in it. So if you're traveling and it is a baked bronzer and here it is here, I love this bronzer. I was deciding between two of them on the website because Obviously, I couldn't swatch them, but I love this bronzer. I think it works perfectly with my skin tone. I think that it does have a bit of an orange throw to it, but because of the darker, cool toned colors in there with the bronze, I think it works for me. And it really does just have the lightest little sheen to it. It's not sparkly or shiny at all. It just has a really nice light sheen and I think it just looks great on my skin. So there it is there with the bronzer and you can see there is like a brightness to it and here it is here without the bronzer. So you can tell my skin definitely looks different on this side than it does on this side. So I have been loving this bronzer and I love the fact that this bronzer is definitely a buildable bronzer so you can you can put too much of it on but if you just tap your brush in and put it on you're not going to get too much and that's what I love about it because some bronzers you put them on and you're like oh why did I just do that I put so much on 
and I hate that when bronzers do that. I love this one. I would totally recommend it. Honestly though, I did buy this for full price, which I don't regret because I do love this bronzer and this is the only bronzer I've been using since I bought it. But I do want a different one, a more cool toned one, because this one is quite warm tone on my skin and I think it's gonna be a little bit dark for me in the winter time. So I do want to get a different one at the Sephora VIB sale in the fall. Um, my girlfriend is a VIB Rouge member, so I'm probably gonna hit her up to get it for me because she can get it before I can because I, I think I'm either Beauty Insider or VIB, I can't remember, but if I'm VIB, I probably am just barely VIB. So I end up having her get stuff for me during the sales. So, so the blush I'm gonna use today is not one of the favorites. It is new in my collection though. It is the Tarte blush and it is the like a small sample size and it's in the shade Monarch. Here it is here. I've only used it once before because like I said, I just got it. Um, but I've been really, really liking it and well, the one time that I used it, I really liked it. And I think it's just super natural, but kind of peachy on the skin, which I really like. So I'm just gonna throw it on here and show you guys how it performs. But I do wanna talk about my next favorite. So I don't really drink all that often, but when I drink beer, which is, like I said, not often, but the only beers I have been going for has been this from Atwater Brewery. Is that what it's called? I think it's Atwater. Yeah, Atwater Brewery, and that is in Michigan, and it is the Vanilla Java Porter. So this is what it looks like here, and I love it. I love vanilla, first of all. You guys probably already know that and I love coffee flavored things. So that is like the best combination of vanilla and coffee in a beer I have ever had. I, I have purchased the Lining Kugels, um, it's like Snowdrift Vanilla Porter, and that's good, but it doesn't have that strong coffee flavor in it like this one does, and I love this one. It is so good. And so not, it's like not too thick too. I know it's a porter, so it is quite thick, but it's not too thick where it's not good. You know what I mean? So I've been really, really liking this beer. If you guys are in Michigan, you can definitely pick it up. I'm not sure about other states. I will have to look into it and see if other states sell it as well. But I know that Atwater Brewery is in... It says, born in Detroit, raised everywhere. So hopefully this is something that um, is sold everywhere. Let's see. Yeah, so this is brewed in Detroit, Michigan. So it is so good. I freaking love it. It is delicious. So the highlighter today I'm going to use is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. You guys know that this is not a bronzer, it is definitely a highlighter. And I'm going to talk about my next favorite for the month, and that is the Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Activated Charcoal Bar Soap. So this is how it looks, and I've been keeping it in the package. Here is the back of it. I think it cost me $4.99 at Target, and it's just like a black soap. I don't use it for anything other than cleaning my brushes. So this soap has gotten at least three to four cleans on it now and it cleans my brushes so well oh i'm using the brush jumbo kabuki fan brush by crown brushes it's super soft but that soap is so nice for cleaning every single one of my brushes like they all look perfectly clean because i just cleaned them yesterday with that soap and it is so nice it doesn't have like the best smell to it. It does have a slight smell, but it's really not like an obnoxious smell at all. It's not offensive at all, especially like when I smell my brushes, I can smell it a little bit, but not enough for, like I said, to for it to be offensive at all. But I do really, really like it um, for cleaning my brushes. It does an excellent job. I just kind of swirl my brush in it and then just put it in my brush bar. I do have in one of my vlog videos, but this is the brush bar that I use. And it's just like a plastic and it's got like different kind of textures on it to rub your brush in. Really like it. I got it from the Ipsy website. So you guys can 
look for it or I'll try to link it below if I can find it. Um, but I really like that in combination with this Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Soap. I love it. It cleans my brushes so incredibly well. And it makes me so happy that it looks so clean on my brushes too. Because you know sometimes you can clean your brush and it's still kind of like that stained look. My brushes never look stained and even though I use them for an entire month and I don't wa wash them sometimes, um, they don't look stained which is really nice. So I'm going to use this Balm Voyage um, number two in Kukarabisha for my brighter highlight today because like I said I'm going to be filming so I wanted a little bit extra highlight. And this is the brush I got from Ipsy, and it's from SL Miss Glam, and I have no idea what it's called. I can't even remember that I remember, I can't even believe that I remember that it's from SL Miss Glam. By the way, it is pouring outside, so if you guys are hearing that, that's Michigan for you. It was like 90 degrees two days ago, and hot and humid and ridiculous, and now it's pouring rain and 65. I just, we're in Michigan. That's literally, like... You can get all four seasons in one day in Michigan. It's crazy. Now I have my face done. Um, I'm gonna do my brows. Actually, I don't wanna do my brows yet. I'm gonna finish my eyes. Um, I think I'm kind of liking just this like super simple look for filming today. And I think I just want to blend it a little bit. I'm gonna use the, pe Ooh. I'm gonna use the peach palette and use the shade Tempting here. It's just like a super dark brown shade. And I'm gonna use it with a fluffy blending brush. This is the ColourPop brush from their original, um, the original time that they were selling. So I don't think this one is still available, but I'm gonna just kind of blend this up and in the crease here, just to kind of blend these colors together a little bit better. This looks super messy here. And I'm also gonna blend this on my lower lash line to kind of even out these colors a little bit. Kind of making like a grungy, messy look today because that is what I'm in the mood for. So that is what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm talking like that, <laughs> to be totally honest. I'm just doing my thing today and having fun while I'm doing it. You guys, so apparently I decided to go really dark <laughs> with my eyes. Dark and kind of grungy. I'm actually kind of liking this right now. I think I'm going to put some black eyeliner on my lower lash line as well. And just kind of go with it today because I'm actually... I don't know, I don't do this very often, so I just kind of felt like it, you know? Just felt like being kind of grungy and kind of like, rah, today. Anyways, um, I'm gonna do my eyebrows really quick. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, and I have the shade Soft Brown, and then I'm gonna use my Essence Make Me Brow in the shade 02 Brownie Brows, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, I have my eyebrows done. Um, I'm going to use the... ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Girly for my inner corner highlight and my brow bone highlight. And I just use this with my finger because that's how I do it. Uh, I basically just use my ring finger and I just tap it in there. And then I will spread it around. And typically I don't even need a mirror to do this. I will check it with a mirror after, but... Yeah, that's how I do it. Makes it nice and easy. This has been in my favorites many, many times. I do love this shadow. Okay, so I wanted to do a couple more favorites for you really quickly. So I have been loving, this is just a little teeny tiny bottle. I have been using the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Micellar Cleansing Water. And the one that I have been using is actually in my Spell It Out Project Pan collab with a bunch of other ladies here on YouTube. And I don't want to show you that one because I don't want to show you my progress. Duh. Um, because the progress is coming up on that one very, very soon here. So I don't want to show you progress on that, but I have been loving this. I will take my makeup off at night and then I will wash my face and then I will use this with a cotton pad all over my face to make sure all of the makeup is off. And usually I get quite a bit extra makeup off that I didn't get off previously. And then I will just rinse my face again just to get the oil from this off. And I have been 
loving it. It's not really oily to be completely fair. Like I could go to bed with just using this, um, but I don't like to do that. I like to completely clean my face off and then do my nighttime moisturizer and eye cream and stuff like that. So I have been loving that. I have been loving this lip gloss. I have been using it at work and it is the Lipstick Queen bang, Big Bang Time and there is no shade on this. But here it is here. I love how long this wand is and how little this little handle is. Like it just goes on so nicely. I'm not going to use it today. Um, but I really, really love it. It's like the lightest coppery shade you can possibly get that you can put on without a mirror. And that's what I love about this one. It's not sticky at all. It's super soft and moisturizing on the lips. And I've been using it like crazy at work because I can put it on without a mirror. And that's what I love about lip glosses that I can put on at work. So I've been loving this one. And then I think this is my last favorites for the month. And it is the Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cucu Cucumber. It is the Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. And I have been using this like crazy. Here it is here. It's just got a dip in it. But my cuticles have been so incredibly dry lately. And using this, first of all, it smells amazing. It smells like lemon, which I love the citrus in lemon and lime scents, but it works so well. It's super, super thick on the cuticles and it is quite greasy, but it works so well that I just don't care about the greasiness anymore. I put it on before bed and then I go to bed and it doesn't rub off my sheets or my pillows or anything like that. It just cleans up my cuticles, makes them nice and moisturized, and it doesn't leave those dry patches on my cuticles like they get. And they get really, really dry in the summertime. For some reason, my cuticles are not bad in the wintertime, but in the summertime, they are bad. <laughs> So I'm going to use my Tarte Gifted Mascara. You guys know I love this mascara and it is in my Drop 10 by Summer Project Pan, which also got corrupted from my freaking computer and I had already deleted the footage and I hadn't edited or saved it yet. So that's an issue, obviously. And I think, I don't know, I was going to refilm it and then I was like, you know what? I don't know, I might just wait until the next, the finale update. I do have quite a bit of progress on some of my items, but I don't know if it's worth it to film it at this point. I don't know, I have so many other videos that I want to put up, and I don't know if I want to put up multiple videos a day, but I feel like to catch up on the videos that I do want to put up, I need to put up a video every single day this week, basically, because it is the beginning of the week. I also haven't done a shop my stash in a while, and I'm feeling like I need a change in my stash, especially because the summer months are here and the hot months are here. And I want to change up my blushes that I have in there, and I want to change up my highlighter. I don't know. I'm going to put some black eyeliner on as well and then I'll be back. So I think I'm gonna wear this red lipstick today. It is in my lipstick roulette right now. It is the Smashbox Be Legendary Liquid, not liquid lipstick, Be Legendary lipstick in the shade Legendary and it is just the red shade here. So I'm gonna put it on. This is more of like a pink red to me. It's not really the red that I was looking for. So I think I'm gonna put this Kat Von D red lipstick over top. I think I'm just gonna go like this. Okay, so this is the Kat Von D anniversary red lipstick and it is in Santa Sangri. And I'm gonna put this one over top. That is the final look for today. Um, I still haven't done my hair yet, to be totally honest. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this hair today. I still have to put my product in it and stuff like that, but I hope you guys enjoyed this different type of favorites videos. I got to kind of use the products with you guys and just kind of, you know, talk to you guys because I've had a lot going on lately. I was on the phone all day yesterday trying to fix my computer. I said it just wasn't working, which was really, really annoying and driving me freaking crazy. So there was that, but 
I don't know, it's just really frustrating when you're working on things for so long. Like I've been working on two of my videos for months and it's like I lost all the footage for those videos and I had a color pop lip swatch video that I had almost ready to go. I just needed to put in some music and stuff like that and that's gone. It's just, it's really frustrating to me that I lost all that footage and it all got corrupted and like I said, I don't have the raw footage on my camera anymore which is also really annoying but Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed some of these favorites, and like I said, please go up to the icon above and do those polls for me because I really like hearing from you guys. And also, if you guys have any similar favorites as me, let me know down in the comments below. I love to chat with you guys there and just kind of hear your opinions. It's really, really nice to know. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this chatty get ready with me and my favorites and I hope you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye!